Hey everyone, today I'd like to give you a little demo on the new uh, newest release of the Liberty for Consignment item entry app that we just came out with. This is the version that works on uh, either an iPhone or the iTouch. So today I've got uh, an iTouch 8 gigabyte model here and I'd like to show you a little bit about how the interface works and exactly how you use it to uh, enter items and look up and consign information and so forth. So basically I'm going to come in here, I'm just going to log in And then it comes up with our kind of like our search button saying, who do you want to search for? Okay, so when we get to the main search box area in the system, we can do a few things. If we click on the menu at the top of the screen here, uh, we can do a few things. We can add client, do an item lookup, um, or change just some of the default settings in the system. Let me show you how the add client works real quickly. Now it's not a full feature to add client in the sense that you're familiar with Liberty, but what it does do is allows you just to get some basic demographic information um, about the uh, about the client. And I'll just put in here uh, something like test account. And we'll do resale world. And uh, we can enter phone numbers and so forth. Okay, so now it's going to add that client into the system. And it just built uh, a quick account for us. Going back to the search area. Now, the interesting thing about the, the uh, iPhone iTouch app is that you basically don't have to select whether you're searching by first name or last name. You basically just have to put in any piece of information about the consigner. Uh, first name, last name, uh, city, uh, phone number, and we'll go and search all the fields in the consigner table to try to find uh, the right consigner. So in this case, let's just do something simple like typing in Mary. <clears throat> and uh, it comes up with a bunch of Marys in the system, which I assumed it would. And if I want to go in, let's say, Mary Bianchi's account, I'll just touch on her account there. Okay, so on Mary's account, we have, uh, we can do a few things from here. We can edit her item, edit her information. We can add an item, email her an item list, or just change the settings. In this case, I'm just going to, let's quickly just show you what the edit client screen looks like. You can just enter their first name, last name, and so forth. Next, I'm going to show you a list of her items. And this goes and queries all the available items for Mary in the system. Right now, she looks like she has about nine or 10 items. If I want to find out some more information about that item, I just click on that item. And then it will bring up the category information, um, the title, price, and so forth, along with brands and so forth, uh, all the attributes associated with that item. I can copy this item if I'd like to make a duplicate of it. I can print a tag for this item. I can delete it, or I can even add an image right here on the fly. Let's just try copying it once and see what happens here. So the copy dialog screen comes up. And I'm going to add, let's say, two. Okay, so it's copying the items in the system. It's using images, everything else. And as you can see, it re refresh the screen and it added these two items at the top of our screen. Let's show you how to add an item real quickly here. You go down to the add item icon. And what the system now is doing is it's going to query your top 20 categories in your system. So as you can see, this looks like a, a children's store. I just took some sample data. If you don't want to use the top 20, you can always switch to tree view. Tree view is your traditional view where you can select the categories, category one, two, three, or whatever category structure you have. So right now it's defaulting to children's, infant clothing, and whatever the third level category is for, for infant clothing. If I want to go change the top level category, I can do that quickly just by typing in, uh, clicking on the uh, top level category button.
and then it brings up the other category structures. Once I've selected my final category level, it then goes in and sucks in all the attributes and attribute values for that category. Again, what it's doing is it's doing the top attributes for those particular categories. So, for instance, uh, brand, we've got Old Navy seems to be a top category, a top brand, excuse me, uh, color, fabric, and so, so forth. I guess they don't use size. <clears throat> Interesting. Let's try to find one with size. That's always a good example. I'm going to switch over to children's. Boys clothing. And we'll just go to a shirt. <clears throat> so there's a case where you see the attribute values changing depending on the cat on the categories. Just exactly how, how it works in uh, in Liberty. So I can choose one of these brands, but if I don't see it, I can always go to my All tab over here and select from all the uh, attributes. If I can choose denim, and I'm going to choose medium as a size. And as you can see, my brand is empty. So if I click in there, it will now bring in all my all my brands. And as you can see, I can scroll through those as well, or I can just type in a value. So if let's say I want to do polo. Just type in the word polo and there it is. Next thing that we'll try to do is we're going to enter the price. And unfortunately for these people, the uh, trend for this particular item is down 23%. So what it's doing is it's going and uh, calculating all the sales history for this particular category and giving you a trend analysis and also showing you the low average and high prices for this item over the past year. Now you can either change the price, you can use the little scroll bar here, or you can just enter it manually if you want to change the price. Next I go over to the description. And of course the title is dynamically built for you just like the way it is in Liberty. I put a description in here. I can also add a picture, either from my library, which I don't have any photos in my library, or from directly from the camera. And I'll just take a quick picture of my desktop. A little icon shows down there at the bottom of your screen. And I'll take another picture. And one more. So this is a great way if you want to uh, inventory uh, your items and get them on eBay or on uh, ShopRW. What else here? Okay, down here at the bottom, you'll see the thumbnails of the uh, pictures. If I kind of hold on the picture here, I can either move it up or down in the order. I can get rid of an image if I don't like that one. Kind of, kind of neat. So uh, I go over to my extended description tab. And I can do a couple of things here. You can change the purchase method, consign or purchase outright. Of course, these are all defaulting from you know from Liberty, taking all their settings. You can change the date received if you'd like to. Uh, price, I can change the retail price. Uh, put it on your Shop RW account uh, site if you'd like to. Now that we have some pictures here, put a weight in. And let's just put a value in here. It's normally, uh, well, the value is uh, probably the same as retail in this case. And that's about it. Click Save. Item now is immediately getting uploaded to your system. It's uploading the images and will be available uh, in, to see inside your software uh, pretty much immediately. Ask me so I'd like to add another item. And I'm not going to say no to that. Ask me if I'd like to print these items. I'm going to say yes. So now I can print tags immediately. And where it does is it keeps uh, from where we left off. So 143 was the last item number that we, we chose.
we choose the tag format. Right now there is only just the store seems to only use two types of tags, so they've disabled all their other ones. But of course this will print to any of the Liberty style tags. Choose the uh, printer and that's a bit. Just hit print and uh, you're all set. You can also now e email that person an item list. <clears throat> and this will send them an email directly to their whatever email account is specified in their system. So that's how the uh, email list item function works. It's rather simple. Let's go to the main menu for a second. I'm going to show you another neat little feature. Um, let's say you want to have your uh, employees take some pictures of items that are in the store that you want to put on your ShopRW site. You can go out to the main menu and uh, at the top of the screen there's an item lookup functionality. What you can do is then just enter the item number uh, whoops, let's see, 2560, I believe, was one of them. Uh, dash one. Okay, well, I put 2569. Sorry about that. But anyway, you get the idea. So enter account number and item number. Click on that item. And then you can, uh, let's say, add a photo to it if you'd like to. So now it's going to save that image up to uh, the system. So this is an item that we had already entered. Uh, we're just going to add some pictures to it. You can also scan the tag. Now this isn't available on the iPad, only available on the iPhone and the iTouch. It's kind of a neat fe feature. You just kind of hit the scan button. And what it will do is it will bring up the camera. So what it's uh, asking you to do is basically just hover the, the camera over a tag. Um, Fortunately, I don't have any tags right now, but you get the idea. Once it gets the tag barcode in focus, it will uh, figure out what the barcode number is and go look up that uh, item in the system. So it's kind of neat. That way you don't even actually have to enter the item number. You just scan the tag. If I go now back to the uh, item lookup screen, I can just enter that item number again. And it will show me the item uh, along with the little thumbnail of that last picture that I just took. If I go into the item detail screen, it'll bring up the item, all the information. If I want to click on the thumbnail, it will bring up that uh, picture of that item. You can, of course, have as many items, uh, as many pictures as you want per item. If I wanted to actually add an item right now, I can do, uh, excuse me, add a picture right now, I can do that again. And in this case, I'll just take a similar shot. And it will save that image now back up to your server. So it's a great way to uh, take some quality items that are in your store and an easy way to get them uploaded to your e-commerce site. You just click on that button and there you go. You can see the, uh, the image. Just scroll through your images. And so forth. So in a nutshell, that's what the item entry app for iTouch and iPhone uh, looks like. There's uh, some really neat features in here. Allows you to inventory your items, take pictures of your items, enter new clients, print tags, print item lists, do some uh, really fancy using some nice fancy algorithms to help you price your items. Uh, all in all, a, a very uh, nice little um, app so that you can uh, get your employees uh, more involved in pricing, get them out there on the floor, take pictures. Um, and again, this is done from anywhere. I'm actually working at my house right now doing this uh, when the server is located back at our offices. Um, so anyway, um, hope you liked what you saw today. And uh, you can invite, it's available now on the in the iTunes store. And uh, hope you get a copy. We'll talk to you soon.